What are we doing here, hon? We're gonna share with you guys something that we're hoping that you might be able to help us out with. Um, and uh, just kind of lay out some observations. So we came out a couple days ago, a couple mornings ago, to see this. <clears throat> okay, so first reaction, a little bit of sadness. Second reaction, a little bit of anger. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of beetles here. There's Japanese beetle, there's a cucumber beetle, there's a milkweed beetle. There is a squash bug beetle. There's a Jap, did I say Japanese beetle? There's, there's lots of beetles. There's a fig beetle down here. So anyways, we came out and we definitely think this is vine borer um, that's done this to this plant because it was very, very quick. So what we did was um, just grab some compost just from the beds here, buried it. As you can see, um, the growth is starting to pop up. Um, we actually have quite a nice uh, squash here um, to harvest. Well, I guess I just did harvest it. Um, so yeah, um, we'd like to show you the other two plants that have been infected and just kind of some observations that we've had. And then maybe um, you guys can help us out a little bit. And also um, something that I think has created an opportunity for us as well. So. Um, yeah, let's just run over to the other plant real quick. All right, so the, the first one was a summer squash. This one's a bit tougher because it was a winter squash. This one is a harvest moon. And as you can see, it was running up to there and also all the way over to the tomato trellis. Um, again, we think this is uh, um, vine borer. It was very quick, very sudden. And what we've done here is at each node and again thank you Nick from the garden uh, we've just buried it with uh, with soil now it seems to kind of bounce back at night it's so hot here during the days that everything kind of wilts wilts down a bit but then bounces back up at night and um, yeah so th this is uh, this is kind of a, a tougher one for us but um, that's okay we'll head over to the uh, the third one here Okay, so this is the third one, and this was actually the first one that we noticed. Uh, when we have coffee in the morning, you can see right out here, and I knew some, we knew something was up first thing in the morning. So with this one, we cut it way, way back. The vine actually starts here, comes out, and as you can see, we've actually cut out all the, uh, the dead or dying um, leaves, and then buried it, and to our surprise, you can see there's some new growth coming here. Um, again, we're not holding out a lot of hope, but we thought it would be an interesting measure to kind of do um, and, and just see what happens. Again, we're getting tons of summer squash, so we're not too worried about these. Okay, so once uh, I kind of calmed down and uh, started doing some uh, critical thinking, um, one thing, one observation that we both had is that the only plants to be attacked so far, this one in front of me, was mulched with grass. The other two were mulched with that uh, coffee chaff. And as you can see, kind of the uh, mat that it creates, um, which is, is probably just a coincidence. But um, all the other ones, all the ones that haven't been attacked, they are all heavily mulched with uh, fresh wood chips. So I don't know, um, like I said, it might be a coincidence, probably is, or do, do you guys think that the wood chips have um, created, you know, an environment where the the vine borer um, doesn't find favorable and just goes to something that is more favorable? Um, yeah, we'd be interested in hearing uh, what you guys think. Okay, um, there is a awesome thunderstorm coming at us, so we gotta kind of uh, be quick about this. So yeah, we'd be really interested in your guys' thoughts. Uh, what do you think caused it? Do you think the mulch could have caused it or was it just coincidence? Um, two, what would you do about it? Um, again, Nick from the garden gave us some great tips about aluminum foil. We've done that, none of them have been infected. Uh, we've also heard about a clay slurry. We have no problems uh, doing clay. Um, so yeah, we'd love to hear you, uh, hear your thoughts on it. <laughs> 
All right, we gotta be real quick. This thing's coming at us. So yeah, just wanna thank you guys. Um, what do you think, hon? Well, I think I know what you would like to do, which, mm -hmm. which is to not do anything and just see what happens and see if the wood chips are magical the way that we think they could be. Yeah, yeah. I think after all the thought that I've gone through and we've gone through, I think the best choice to learn is actually to do nothing at the moment and, and just see if the other plants get infected. We know the squash borers here, that that is one thing we absolutely know. We know that they've infected the chaff and the um, grass clippings, the grass clippings um, but they haven't seemed to touch the, the stuff in the wood chips. So um, if there is some sort of magical property about wood chips, um, that would be awesome. If it's just a coincidence, that's fine too. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of waiting for them to get, I kind of want them to get a wood chip one. So then we can use your guys' suggestions on uh, rectifying the issue. Yeah, we're gonna lose some plants for sure. We're gonna lose some yield, but um, we've had our fair share of squash. So, what do you think? I think that that's a good plan. Okay. We've, we've got lots of squash. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. you can practice a lot. All right, okay. so we're gonna go run inside and watch this thunderstorm bear down on us. Yeah. So, you guys stay, stay awesome. awesome. And uh, yes, thank you very much for everything. Appreciate it. Let's go. Uh oh. Look at that thing. This whole thing to get rid of the beetles. But then I thought, okay, what kind of opportunity might this be creating? So um, we've been thinking about it the last couple of days. We've got some really good tips uh, from people. So um, we're just going to run through and show you guys uh, what we got. So um, yeah, awesome. What were you looking at here? The baby bunny was right there. Where? He was over there. He like stuck his head out. I think he's on the shot. <laughs> okay. Uh. Hey, buddy. You want to get in the shot? Huh? Do you eat beetles by chance? Do you? All right. Oh, there he goes. Go eat a beetle. Please, stop eating the beans. Can't wait for a shot.